Today you will be creating a sketch that we will use to guide our final product next week. And we will be using concentric circles. That means when anything is concentric, it's when you have a common center. And so think about maybe a bullseye where we have circles radiating out from a central point. And we're going to try and create some balance in our artwork so that we're not heavy in one area and we're not centered directly in the middle. So to begin this, I want you to take, um, and you're going to gather up a collection of things to be able to draw circles. And I want you to gather things that are different sizes. So some larger, some smaller, some sort of medium. I would say five or six would be enough to be able to do this if you have enough different sizes. So if you choose something like this where you actually have two sizes, maybe four or five objects. And what I want you to do is this. On one side of your paper, I want you to trace. And I don't want it to be centered in the middle, so I want it to be off-centered. And let's do off-centered lower. So it can be either in this side or this side, it doesn't matter. And I want you to trace your largest circle. And then I want you to work your way down from there, tracing like your next largest circle. And we're going to try and make these concentric, where we're going to try and put one right inside the other. Now, if we had a compass, we would be able to do this perfectly. But I don't have a compass, so I'm going to just use my eye to guide. So from large to small, mm, that one's really close. So if you may find that you gathered some objects that have almost the same size. And if that's the case, you're going to need to gather some other ones. So there's, I've got four, and I'm going to do one more right in the middle. Okay. Now, I want you to put your pick one that's sort of small and we're going to put this sort of on our upper side but sort of on a diagonal we're not trying to center okay now what i want you to do is i want you to oops i'm gonna do a little better there tracing around it okay and i want so part of this is that we're we're learning how to trace our objects to keep it as neat as possible. So I've got my concentric circles that are here. Now I want you to go in and I want you to use your circles. And I want you to pick um, a size. It doesn't really matter. And I want it to go off on an edge. So I'm going to go down here. And I'm going to do concentric. I'm going to trace the inside of this as well. And then I'm going to come in with one more size in. Nope, not that one. Too big. And I'm going to let these run off the edge, but I'm trying to look, make them as even as I can. I mean, this is a sketch, so we're not, we're not going to worry if it's a little bit off, but we're going to try and make it as good as we can. And I want you to do some others that are free floating and I'm going to do this. I'm going to do one where it is not concentric, where it is offset, and I'm going to put this one around my smaller circle here. And when I'm making it offset, I want it to really show that it is sitting offset. So I'm going to show you what that means. It's going to look something like this, and I might put one more size in here here and I'm going to go a little bit bigger. Maybe I'll use my circle guide for that. Okay, so here we have one that is offset where it's hugging to one side and I would like you to do some that are free floating and some that overlap. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to do one that's overlapping here and I'm going to do a partial here. Now, 
I need to, when I look at this, I'm looking like I have this sort of like very big heavy thing that's here, some smaller things that are countering it here, but I definitely have some space that has n like absolutely nothing in it and I need to get rid of like I don't want any huge areas so up here I'm gonna put one here like it's running off the page just in that edge and I'm gonna do something else here maybe a completely free floating shape once I put it in there I'm gonna sort of take a look so I always like put my shapes in and then I'm looking Okay, we're going to fix that edge. And All right. Let's see. I think that's probably I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to do maybe a concentric here or maybe an offset here and do Let's see what that looks like balance wise like that we've sort of filled the paper but kept it balanced okay a little one's hard to trace all right now i am going to and you know what i only have one that's overlapping and that looks kind of strange i'm going to overlap one more time probably here I don't want the same size though. I definitely want to do something that's a different size and I want to overlap. So I'm going to go um, here and I'm going to let this one overlap here. Okay, now. Now I want you to take your ruler and I want you to pull one line that goes all the way through from one edge to the other remember when we use our ruler we're holding in the middle we start off the page we pull on we pull off at the bottom okay now i want you to do one that is pulling in from the edge and hit stopping when you hit the edge of a circle it doesn't matter which one from that point i want you to put two more lines so I'm watching with my ruler where my lines are going through. I want it to, I'm going to have it cut through this one. And I'm going to have it cut through this empty spot that's here. All at that same, meeting up at this same point. Okay. And I want to do one that is coming in from this edge. And I'm going to have it meet with this line not continue any further and i might also do one uh, a line or two that will divide my circles but not completely so here i'm going to stop there and i'm going to do one more line through here and that is it so I want you to break up. I will say this. I have one area I don't like, and it's right here. Feels like this area is undeveloped. I might come in here when I'm looking at this totally done. And I'm just going to put a corner concentric here. I might even do a smaller one so I have a triple, like a three line going out. And that does help. And I might even do this. So we don't want lines that are crisscrossing everywhere. We want to think about where our lines are anchoring, using the edges of our circles to guide where things begin and end. We may have a line or two, if you want, going all the way through, but they shouldn't all go through. And when you're done, I want you to submit.